Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime. I review skincare and beauty. In this video, I'll be discussing the lipsticks I purchased from world-renowned British makeup artist Lisa Eldridge. Each lipstick retails for £26. However, if you check the website, Lisa does do deals if you buy sets and you get a pouch. The website is useful as it has swatches of each lipstick on different models, all with different skin tones, so you can have an idea of how they'll look on you. Now on to the unboxing. These lipsticks have magnets in them, which actually means, as you can see here, that they repel each other. They can't sit still together. This could be a problem if you're traveling and they're all together in a pouch. They could keep jumping away from each other. As for the packaging, the lipsticks come in a nice card box with gold lettering. You can see Lisa's insignia on the box and of course her name. You can also see the ingredients list on the back of the box. The packaging is metal so it's cool to the touch. It also feels heavy. You can tell it's an expensive feeling product. But don't touch it when your hands are dirty. Get those fingerprints off. Inside there's black plastic, covering the magnet I suppose. No problems twisting the cap. Now look at the shine on that. Can you see the sort of fabric or velvet texture that the lipstick has? It doesn't make a difference when the lipstick touches your lips, but it's lovely to look at. I haven't seen a lipstick quite like it. These lipsticks are matte, so they're not going to be glossy or hydrate your lips very much. So I make sure that I prime my lips before wearing. I wore velvet ribbon for a whole day and I only needed to reapply it once. Even after eating, I didn't need to reapply it. My lips didn't feel sore or very, very dry. I like the added touch of Lisa's insignia at the top of the lipstick case. You can see that sort of velvet fabric texture here a little clearer. It is sad to use a lipstick like this because the more you use it, the more your lips are going to ruin that lovely texture. Now let's get onto the swatches. I was pressing very lightly so it looks like you need to rub a lot to get the pigment out but that's not the case. It's a lovely red. It actually reminds me of Colgate. You can see that it's a matte formula but it's very vibrant. Glides onto the skin perfectly fine. I hope you can tell from these swatches that these lipsticks are very pigmented. Now this shade is bordering on purple. It's a deeper plummy red. This is my favorite red. Now this is what all the reds look like together. Now on to the nudes. As you can see with this nude, it has a pinky undertone. Now on to Velvet Muse. 
You can see that it has a deeper, dustier rose colour compared to Velvet Fawn, which is very nude. And here are all five colours together. I think I have a shade for each occasion now. I wanted to show you what the colours look like in a different lighting. They seem a lot deeper. After wiping the lipsticks off my wrist, you can see that they've actually stained my wrist, particularly the red shades. Now here's a picture so you can see the full saturation of these colours. Please tell me which shade is your favourite, and have you purchased any yourself? Here's a zoomed in picture so you can really see the texture of that velvet. It's a very unique texture. I hope you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you next time. You can check out my Instagram and my blog where you can see my skincare routine and also see skincare product and beauty product reviews. Bye!